Okay, so Sharp Dressed Man, it's actually two very distinct licks going on here. Um, and that's what I've done in, in the video, uh, in the performance part at the beginning, was I, I did it in two separate uh, tracks, okay, because they're very different parts. Okay, so the first part, um, you see a lot of guys playing this a lot of different ways. Some guys just go... Okay, uh, and I don't know... That's just not how what's going on there. Um, Billy Gibbons, um, he's a thumb guy, okay? So what's happening in the song is it's all bouncing off that C note that he hits with his thumb, okay? Um, I'm not a thumb guy, so I'm, I'm doing it with my fingers. But the, the basic lick slowly is... Okay, one more time. There in, in the beginning of the song, it doesn't just come in. Okay, the, it, it proceeds it with a, with a uh, double stop here, like, like the C chord, just the G string and the, and the D string. Okay, only does that once in the whole song, right at the very beginning. Okay, so. We're here, that's the, the D and the G string. I'm doing it there. I'm trying to do everything with, with, with uh, there, a second. those two fingers, okay? Uh, except the beginning, I like to get my little finger in there, just more solid for me. So, the double stop. Another double stop, the G and the D string. Back to the C, double stop on the E flat, the D string, the D string, so. Two, two, two hits now on the C, so. Back here, C, little wiggle, okay, and it's all really staccato, so it, it, you don't want to go, uh, Okay, it's all staccato, it's like this. Okay. And then we've got the other guitar part. Um, and you see a lot of guys playing that like this. Uh, okay, sliding it up from... the B flat to the C, right? With the fifth there. But if you watch Billy Gibbons play this, uh, he isn't doing that at all. Um, what he's doing is he's going... My hand's in there. Okay, so he's basically... So G, B flat, C. And then he's playing a C chord. Well, you know, without the without that in it, right? Without the E. Second fret of the D string. So he's just muting that with his middle finger or with the third finger, just sort of bent over it a bit. And you're just getting, so you're getting the C, the G, and the C. So you get a real strong fifth there. Real strong power chord, okay? And, um, I'll give you a real hint on this song. You're gonna want to tune down, flat that B string, okay? Because every guitar I've ever played, that B string down in this range here, the intonation is not right. So if you if you tune your B on the tuner, peg on. When you fret that C, that C note there on the first fret, it's gonna be out of tune. Okay. 
okay? And you're gonna get some crazy wobbling. You know, is it gonna sound more like, yes. Okay, so it's not gonna work for that power chord. So flat that B string, okay? And, and the strumming on that, from what I can tell, he, is he's upstroke from the C, right? Downstroke. So we're not playing the e, the high E or the low E when we hit the chord. In the, in the, the preface to the chord, of course, we're playing the, the E string. Just one time on that G note, right? That's what he's doing. He could be going, could be going opposite, like down, up. Okay, I can't really tell them. They both sort of sound, you know, very close. Okay, so don't do this. That's not right. Do this. Okay, and then the next bit is just just that uh, bar chord on the C, right? Just hitting the C, G, and the C. So. so just okay, and then we're here, and I changed fingers there. I just more comfortable going my third finger instead of my little finger, but you could do that. Just, I just feel feels better for me doing it this way. So. So far we've got back here. And then we slide up to the G. Okay, then here. Just and then to get back into the uh, um, really sharp dress. So that's just like E flat, B flat. Okay, and those are all just just playing power chords, right? We're not gonna play any anything on the B string. It's gonna be all A string, D string, G string, E string, A string. D string. So power chords, right? And then we're back into the lick, okay? And I will tell you, the second time that you play that part, you actually hold that C a little bit longer. So instead of going, you go, and that's it for the song. Um, Unfortunately, unless you get two guitars in a band, you're going to have to do this whole thing by yourself, right? So you have to compromise it, okay? So what you're going to have to do is something like this. Anyways, fantastic lick, riff, whatever you want to call it. All right, hope you got something out of it. See you.